स्टूडेंट्स ऑनलाइन तैयारी चैनल को सब्सक्राइब करें और बेल आइकन को प्रेस करके लेटेस्ट वीडियो देखें सबसे पहले हेलो एंड वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन तैयारी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्रेंच इंडियन रिलेशन फ्रॉम पास टू प्रेजेंट इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस फ्रांस इंडिया रिलेशन बिफोर इंडिपेंडेंस एंड देन विल मूव टू पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस एंड द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वाई फ्रांस इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर इंडिया and we will also see is france a reliable partner at international forums yes that's of course yes and is france the new russia for india maybe maybe or not we need to uh, still wait at least 10 years more before we can rely as much as we rely on russia so let's start with pre independence period <clears throat> so in 1667 frank is caron under the french king Louis XIV in 1664 started an expedition to India. Actually, what happened uh, in 1664? French King Louis XIV heard that an expedition to India should be sent in 16 So, a uh, French expedition was sent to India. and the french ruler also granted 50 years of concession to french east india company 50 years from the madagascar to east of madagascar how much trade to is they conquer that will be left left with french in east india company and in 1667 frank is caron headed an expedition to india and the first french factory was established in surat so it can be asked in prelims question over where the first fact french factory was established so the answer is surat and uh, similarly there was an iranian who accompanied uh, caron during his expedition to india his name was mer kara mer kara who accompanied frank is caron during his expedition to india and he established second factory in masuli patnam masuli patnam so and that was this and they also established a township in chandir nagor in 1673 in west bengal so they established chandir nagor township in west bengal and the pondicherry which was founded in 1674 it was given by bijapur sultan and it was given by bijapur sultan to establish a french settlement so and from pondicherry is still the place where still some french live their life and it is one of the heritage cities cities of india it, it it is also worth remembering that french also had colonies in mauritius and union island and it has been seen that during their rivalry with britain many a times uh, uh, french forces came from mauritius and union island to support their french counterpart so now let's see how their rivalry with Uh, france resulted into three carnatic wars and the third carnatic war will end the french empire in india so let's start with anglo french rivalry so the first carnatic war 1740 to 48 we will just delve into this topic for a for a very brief period because this is not modern history class i'm taking i'm just giving you an insight what happened before the independence period so what was the main reason austrian war of succession so this was always a trouble in austria and whenever france and britain fought in europe their effect was also felt in india so what happened that french and first french and british both came india for trade purposes however later they were drawn into the politics of india and three carnatic carnatic wars concluded that british were the 
masters of india so first carnatic was carnatic is core mandal here they used to call carnatic and so what happened french knew that their positions are weak and so that's why british navy under barnet british navy under barnet seized some french ships to provoke them so britain had this strategy to eliminate france from india to just provoke them because their positions were weak as maybe they understood that time but it was not so and france surely retaliated by seizing madras in 1746 so there was no further development and treaty of aix la chapelle was conducted and the result was that madras was handed back to britain and french territories which were acquired by france britain were also given back but soon their peace and treaty will fail and second carnatic war will start so this is the interesting point because this was the first time they both parties britain and france delved into dynastic politics and war i will just give you a brief uh, insight what happened there so in 1748 nizamul mulk of the deccan died so and nasir jung became the next nizam and but it was opposed by the grandson of nawab muzaffar jung who said mughal emperor appointed him the interesting point is that uh, the mughal empire was that time very much out of con were not in control of their territories and soon successive states were founding their own states without the permission or just a ceremonial uh position given to mughal empire so it was this and also there was another point that chanda sahib released by maratha chanda sahib was released by maratha in 1748 and he was son in law of nawab of carnatic but anwaruddin khan became nawab of carnatic and it was resented by him so you can see in both cases there are two parties in each case and they both are against each other and it was it benefited the european empire so here the equation was french sided with chanda sahib and muzaffar jung and british sided with anwaruddin khan and nasir jung so what happened in the war the combined armies of french chanda sahib and muzaffar muzaffar jung killed anwaruddin so first man was killed was anwaruddin he was killed by French Chanda Sahib and Muzaffar Jung combined forces in the battle of Ambur so what happened after that Muzaffar Jung became subadar of the deccan and duplex you must have read about him in the modern history and duplex was one of the greatest french governor who came to india so he was great strategist so what happened after that muzaffar jung became the subadar of deccan and duplex became the governor of the mughal territories to the south of river krishna so they acquired a large territory a french army under bassi was stationed at hyderabad bassi was also a capable army general and he was stationed in hyderabad and what happened after that and then comes robert clive and what robert clive does he just with 210 men attacked arcot and arcot was the capital of carnatic arcot was the capital of carnatic so to save them chanda sahib chanda sahib rushed to arcot but it was a trap started by robert clive and soon with robert clive forces combined forces of maratha mysore and tanjore came with english side and 
friend general and chanda sahib remained cooped up in sri rangam and now what happened that they were uh, cooped up like french and chanda sahib was cooped up in sri rangam and the combined forces of robert clive mysore kingdom and maratha and tanjore came together against the french and chanda sahib so now what happened in 1752 chanda sahib was executed by muhammad ali in 1752 so this was the end and they soon realized that there is no end of this war and french called duplex to france and it was the biggest mistake french did because duplex was one of the capable general who could have consolidated the french empire in india but they recalled him and adopted a policy of negotiation with the english so what happened after that they agreed that they won't interfere in the quarrels of native princes so it was their agreement and but it did not bear the fruit of long term peace and again third carnatic war started and that will in the french empire in india for a lot to a larger extent because they will be consolidated now uh, to coastal areas of pondicherry mahe and karaikal areas so what was the region again it was the austria who wanted to recover silesia which was part of germany austria and uh, that time germany so in 1756 and there seven year seven years war started and uh, the final battle of britain and france came battle of wandivash and french were defeated what happened in wandivash that the decisive battle of the third carnatic war was won by the english on jan 22 1760 so by jan 9 1760 Britain defeated the French, French, and it was interesting that British General Eyre totally, it can be said that totally routed the French army, and also took Bussy as a prisoner. So it was the end of French Empire in India to a larger extent, and British became supreme in South India. and treaty of paris however he stored some french factories but was confined to enclaves with no political power so that was the end of french empire to a larger extent in india and britain became even supreme in south india also and uh, the also an interesting fact is that during the indian independence struggle many freedom fighters got refuge in french uh, establishment such as orvindo goes and lala lajpat rai and with that we'll move to after independence what happened after the independence so after independence pondicherry and other enclaves of karaikal mahen yanam came to be administered as a union territory of pondicherry from july 1 1963 and it is worth remembering that india's first strategic partnership with any western country was signed with france and when it was signed when french president chirag made a visit to india so it is interesting to see that after the indian independence france always saw india in a positive aspect and that's why the foundation of a good bilateral relations were found just after the independence and further development came and it is worth to note here that frankis hol holande and indian pm modi at the conference of parties 21 in 2015 jointly invited 100 countries to join international agency of solar policy and adopts application so it is also to note that uh it is the first international agency whose headquarter is based in india and international solar alliance which is called now 
has office in Gurugram. So the next is, and again in Nicholas Sarkozy visited India in 2013 and many bilateral agreements were signed that time. And then here interesting point is that uh, in 2016 Republic Day, first ever participation of foreign troops in the march past 124 french army soldiers so it was the first time on indian republic day that a foreign army was allowed to participate in republic day functions and hollande was the also guest of honor in india 60, 67th 67th republic day celebrations and see uh, it can be seen that india and France both have enjoyed a great bilateral relationship, but we will further see that has not translated in trade relations or uh, we can say on major issues they have not come to terms as India would like or France would like. So we will see further, but now let's move to what are the major uh, really like aspects of their relations. So. France always supported India and its core interest in U United Nations Security Council and it is worth to note that France was one of the few countries who didn't condemn India's nuclear test in 1998. So France was one of the few countries western countries who did not condemn India's nuclear test and it is also worth to note that it did not put any sanction or supported any sanction led by USA at that time. And it is also to note that India, it supports India's bid to become permanent member of United Nations Security Council. So if ever United Nations Security Council is expanded, then India has a great chance to become a permanent member. But given that China has already, China is already in United Nations Security Council, so it will be hard and we have to wait still like 20 or 25 years, then India can become a permanent member of United Nations Security Council. And here you can see framework agreement on civil nuclear cooperation in 2000 was signed by India and France. So in this agreement india france became one of the largest suppliers of nuclear fuel to india and france also supports india's bid to become nuclear supplier group but it is challenged again by china and also we know that uh, india got procurement of the salt mirage 2000 fighter aircraft and scorpion class submarines and they have enhanced their strategic defense acquisitions so it is worth to remember that because now there is uh, also third india also signed 36 this salt rafale in 2016 india will acquire but uh, there is a controversy going on because the the deal has been delayed and now some allegation has been made on the Indian government but overall it is still the best deal India can get in this range. So now we'll move to some uh, crucial components of India-France relations. So we'll see India and France economic relations are growing at 7% which is very minimal given that India and France even uh, having a great bilateral relationship has not translated into a good economic relations. And currently 400 French companies are situated in India and they employ almost 3 lakh people in India. And it is also France is one of the most visited uh, tourist destination of the world. and 
nearly 5 lakh indians visited france in india france in 2016 and the bilateral trade between india and france are worth dollar 11 billion but it is far below the potential and it has been uh, conveyed by the indian president during the french president macron's visit to india in 2018 and the one of the best relations which has translated into and development of space that is uh, the partnership between isro and french space agency and the first agreement was signed in 1964 and it is interesting to note that india's first privately owned space agency team indus signed a treaty with signed an agreement with French Space Agency to launch a rover to the moon in March 2018 but the deal has not been realized realized yet because on January 24 Team Indus and its launch contractor Entrix Corporation which is a part of ISRO jointly announced that they had called off their year old agreement so it might not be possible to realize this dream next scientific cooperation france is india's fifth largest scientific partner and indo french center for promotion of advanced research which was established 13 years ago has made some considerable progress in the area of advanced research in science and cultural relations uh, we all know that there is a an institute of France which is called Institut Francais and there are 14 Alliance Francais which are situated in major cities of India and which teaches language and there are also cultural festivals are held every year and that is Bonjour India in India by France and Namaste France in France by India and currently there are 4,000 students enrolled in French colleges and they have agreed to raise it up to 10,000 students by 2020. So these were the cultural relations and we'll see what is the present visit and significance. So French President Marcon is chairing the International Solar Alliance with Indian PM Modi. So it happened in Delhi and French President Macron, Marcon chaired this International Solar, Solar Alliance Summit which was held in New Delhi and it is as I already mentioned that first international treaty based organization situated in India in Gurugram and we can also see defense cooperation is increasing and there is also a uh, joint maritime exercises every year held from 2000 and that is Varuna series of maritime exercises. So now we'll move why France is important for India and it can be also said that this is truly a strategic partnership. French President Marcon is chairing the International Solar Alliance with Indian PM Modi. We already know that, discussed that. And on the strategic security lines, we know that French military bases are in. See here, uh, French military bases are in Djibouti, Abu Dhabi, and Reunion Island. And currently, India is looking to enhance in sea cells, Mauritius, and Oman. Mauritius and Oman. So, if these all are converted into a single coordinating force, then India can enhance its capability in Indian Ocean to counter China. So, this is a strategic. This has. This partnership has a great strategic significance. We have to understand that. And also, France is emerging as a major partner for India in developing various key military platform, platforms, including the Scorpion submarines. So, in France is all, also helping 
to India to manufacture Scorpion submarine, which will be crucial part of navigating and securing the Indian interest in the Indian Ocean. So these are the important aspects you have to remember and then we'll move to is France the new Russia for India and maybe maybe or not that can because India and Russia enjoyed a close friendship for almost four decades during uh, starting in 1971 on the backdrop of Pakistan's close ties with USA and China. So this was the backdrop because that time USSR was not having a very great relation with either US or China and also because Pakistan was very close to them that's why India thought that to have their significance in South Asia they have to have an friendship agreement with India and that was the background but after the Soviet, uh, as in 1991, when uh, USSR was divided in 16 countries, so later Pakistan also got close with China and uh, also they are approaching, re approaching to Russia and Russia also recently has conducted uh, an army exercise and which was re which really created a uh, ear in India's eyes so it can be seen that the strategic significance of India France relation is becoming important here because Russia is slightly moving to Pakistan and it has created a kind of vacuum in their space and France can fill that gap that's why there was an article on the name of is France the new Russia for India and it can be said that it may be or it may be not because the progress is still in the very pre preliminary stage and until unless some substantial uh, defense cooperation agreement is signed it cannot be said that France has become the new Russia for India so this was this and we can see that we can in the last we will see how this strategic partnership is very crucial for India. So India now has signed logistic exchange memorandum of, um, memorandum of agreement which is called LEMOA with both the US and France. So now they uh, both France army and US army can access the military bases of India and they can exchange the information and it is greater significance because if anything happens in the future then they can easily coordinate because the framework has been already established and recently Muscat, Muscat has also given access to its port and Singapore too so India is trying hard as China has reached to Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Myanmar and there is also a theory of string of pulse so india is trying hard to counter that string of pulse by creating their own strategic defense partnership with other countries and we can see in the future that india can have a base in muscat and singapore and they are also planning to build a navy base in seychelles and uh, as i have already mentioned that if french base is india in in the indian ocean and Indian bases in Indian Ocean are combinedly included then it can easily counter the Chinese influence in Indian Ocean and uh, uh, France is also important for India because even though it has been two decades the friend free trade agreement with the European Union has still not fructified and if France and India are able to cooperate on broader terms then it can open a door for free trade agreement with European Union also and the last the quad which was recently in news that uh, it, ha it is still not uh, it is still not a partnership agreement a kind of any group which has been created but it is said that quad which includes US, 
Australia and Japan and India to counter the growing Chinese influence in South China Sea and also in Indian Ocean. So that's it. We that's it for France India relations and thank you very much and good luck for your preparation.